The Little Red Hen Once upon a time, there was a little red hen who scratched the ground to find some grains of wheat. The little red hen called their neighbours and said, If we work together and we plant these grains of wheat, we'll all have some bread to eat. Who will help me plant the wheat? Today is my day off, said the goose. Then I will, said the little red hen, and so she did. The wheat grew tall and ripened into golden grain. The little red hen called the neighbours again and said, Who will help me reap the wheat? You better ask somebody else to do that job, said the duck. That's not the right job for me, said the pig. I will lose my seniority, said the cow. I will lose my unemployment benefits, said the goose. So the little red hen reaped the wheat all on her own without any assistance. Then it came time to break the bread, bake the bread. Who will help me bake the bread, she said. I don't work over time, said the cow. I will lose my pension, said the duck. I can never do anything right, said the pig. If I'm the only one helping, it will be discrimination, said the goose. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. She baked five loaves of beautiful bread and held them up for her neighbours to see. Who will help me eat the bread? They all wanted some and demanded their share. But the little red hen said, No, I can now rest for a while and I've got enough bread to last me until the next harvest. The others were very angry. Excess profits, cried the cow. You greedy capitalists, screamed the duck. Bottom of the harbour operator, grunted the pig. Equal rights now, yelled the goose. And immediately they formed a big picket line outside the farmer's house demanding fair treatment. The farmer came out, he said. You must not be greedy, little red hen. Look at the oppressed cow. Look at the underprivileged duck. Look at the disadvantaged pig. Look at the less fortunate goose. You are guilty of making second-class citizens, little red hen. But, but I earn my bread, replied the little red hen. The farmer ordered the little red hen to give four loaves of bread to her suffering neighbours. You are very lucky to have this freedom, said the farmer. In other farms, you'd have to give all five loaves to the farmer. But here, you give four loaves to your disadvantaged neighbours. The little red hen smiled, but she never baked bread again. She ultimately joined the ranks of the so-called disadvantaged, and they all lived happily ever after. Free enterprise system is wonderful. You are free to earn as much as you want. It produces wealth. It helps to provide employment opportunities. This is only possible if the system is free from any intervention by governments. Yet governments are constantly seeking to enroach upon that system. The pure capitalist, the pure supporter of free enterprise, must have enmity between himself and governments. All the world governments are evil. They derive their power from Satan, the devil. No government is really interested in the welfare of its people, but they are just after their own lust for power. If we let governments intervene in the free enterprise system, we will all join the ranks of the disadvantaged.